Hi guys, it's uh, Jomari here. Welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet uh, to my uh, channel, please like, share, and hit the bell notification for more uh, videos. So, for today's video, I will be showing you how I make my uh, moist uh, chocolate cake from uh, the scratch, of course. So, I'll be uh, sharing with you my uh, own recipe and this uh, recipe that I have right now is uh, actually one of my uh, best uh, seller. speed things up I already have my ingredients ready for you guys so the recipe that I'm showing you today is actually four times as what I created so you can make four pans of cake out of this uh, pan this is uh, six by three so here I have seven cups of sifted flour I have six and a half cup of uh, sugar I have here four cups of buttermilk but if you don't have a buttermilk I'll put on the uh, link below on uh, the description below how you do the uh, buttermilk uh, substitute I have here four cups of coffee if you don't have um, actually a brewed coffee you can use your instant coffee at home because here we're using broad coffee and it gives a little bit of uh, taste on it for our cake here I have two cups of my um, melted butter I have eight large egg here I have two and a half cocoa powder and I have one half cup of carnation uh, chocolate mix powder I have four tablespoons of vanilla and I have six teaspoons of uh, baking soda and I have three teaspoons of salt so that's all we need so uh, if you want to uh, make a single uh, cake pan of uh, your uh, cake uh, butter just check the description below and I will put it there including all the uh, buttermilk substitute and uh, the, the recipe yeah, so for this kind of uh, cake pan, we need to put uh, a wax paper on it to avoid uh, sticking on our uh, cake pan. So we'll just cut it like that, you know. And voila! And then put it there. Because I don't have a four um, same pan like this, I only have two, and the rest is like half of this and smaller than this. So I will just 
use two of this kind of cake pan but I have some of that uh, six inches uh, cake pan this one is um, like a snap kind of cake pan so you just snapped it but uh, when you're doing this butter make sure you put uh, your parchment paper underneath because our butter is kind of runny so if you don't do put your parchment paper it's gonna be all over and your oven will gonna get really messy and it's dripping all over so that's simple you put the parchment paper snap it and close that again what we're gonna do is to uh, just cut the excess uh, parchment paper because if you leave it and pop it in the oven we're gonna have a smoke and it will affect our uh, cake I don't want that to happen there we go So next, we're going to spray our cake pan with um, this non-stick spray. It says no artificial colorants or something like that, I don't know. So we're just gonna shake that and spray it. Make sure you spray it all over, especially the sides. Ugh. I think I can't inhale those. Disgusting. Okay, so. So, first step, we're going to uh, mix all our dry ingredients here. This uh, type of cake actually is not spongy. It's kind of um, a little bit heavy, heavier than a sponge cake. And it's a uh, moist one. So we're just gonna combine and mix our uh, dry ingredients here. And we're going to mix it together. to put our sugar so every time I make a big batch of my uh, butter I normally use my uh, hand mixer because I don't have a big uh, cake mix one so the hand mixer is fine as long as you uh, do it uh, really well. We are going to put our melted butter. That's two cups of melted butter or the whole bar of our uh, non salted one. our buttermilk just do it slowly and slowly so when you're making your uh, substitute for your buttermilk you need to set it up for 15 minutes that's the maximum
And now we're going to add our 8 uh, large egg. Then we're going to add our vanilla. So, before we pour our uh, coffee, just make sure everything is good to go. You mixed it really well. And uh, we're going to re reheat the uh, coffee, our coffee, or it's kind of like really, really, really hot because this butter will be really a runny one. So make sure we're going to uh, mix our uh, butter really well before we pour our hot coffee. So I just uh, microwave it for uh, five minutes. So we're going to pour our hot coffee. There you go. And then we're going to blend it like gently. to uh, mix it really well but not uh, over mixed otherwise we're gonna create bubbles in our butter and we don't like that right so just a little bit of uh, mixed and not that much So make sure there's no lump on your uh, butter and it's not overmixed. Otherwise it's all gonna be bubbly. Okay, that's good to go. Okay, so now that I have my uh, cake panda sprayed, we're going to... Uh, do the last check if we have the lump on our butter. So we're just gonna use the 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 whisk, and then we're going to transfer it. Okay, I think we're good. So when you're putting your butter on your cake pan, make sure you put just like halfway just half otherwise your cake will gonna be all over the place I think we need more on that one Now we're going to just like that, just like that, to take the uh, air out. And see you guys there. And uh, make sure our oven is uh, preheated. 
So now we're going to bake our cake at uh, 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. When it's done, make sure to uh, check it always with the uh, toothpick. It works for me that way. But of course, don't forget your timer because otherwise um, you're going to burn your cake because I had an experience that I burned my cake once. Okay, so let's bake this cake. Oops, I think our cake is good to go. So every time you bake something, don't forget to set your timer or what you're forget sometimes, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take another check. I have a stick here or a toothpick will work. So we're just gonna poke it. If it's not messy then it's good to go. Or the if you're uh, looking at the edges, that's the sign that your cake is good to go. Yeah, but normally I'll do double check always my cake but if you're cooking your uh, sponge cake don't ever ever poke that so now we're waiting for the cake to cool down we're going to prepare our uh, garnish that we're going to use so I'll be showing you how to make the bird of paradise because I'll be uh, decorating my cake as a tropical inspired cake. 